Hey everyone, I want to talk today about how much money wildlife biologists make, how much money you would make as a wildlife biologist, and how much money I make. I'm going to refer to kind of salary ranges in US dollars, and this is more of a focus for people who live in North America. It's totally going to be different for people who live in Europe, in India, Africa, as far as how much money they might make as a wildlife biologist. To start off, I have had quite the journey with money. So I graduated university with $50,000 of student loan debt, credit card debt, and basically my financial life was a big mess. My parents didn't pay for my tuition or anything, so I was supporting myself through university and I ended up graduating with a decent amount of student loan debt. As you guys know too, in the United States, uh, college is like insanely expensive. It's so expensive to go to school in the US. So I was paying all this money I went to community college for my first two years. That helped me save a little bit of money on university, but honestly, still, I ended up just taking out more debt to pay my rent because I was living in San Diego at the time, and which is not my hometown, not where my parents lived. So I didn't have the option to live with my parents. So I graduated with yeah, $50,000 of debt and I was making about eleven fifty dollars an hour at my internship. I was an intern as like a wildlife biologist. So at least it was in my career field, but that's pretty expected at the beginning to start off around close to minimum wage. And some people stay there for the first few years, even after their bachelor's degree, because some of the entry level positions just do not pay that much money. And you kind of have to realize that you're gonna start off making very little. After I graduated, I moved to Canada and I kind of went more into the oil and gas industry, which had a little bit higher salaries. So I started off as like an environmental coordinator type position. And at that position, I made about $48,000 a year. And like, I was stoked to make $48,000 a year. I thought that was like as good as it's gonna get for me. Depends if you're working for a nonprofit, a nonprofit you're gonna make a lot less. If you're working for like a private consulting company, you're gonna make more. Government can be somewhere in the middle. That's hard to generalize, but a lot of times it's like around 50,000. In my story, I got laid off and so I was making nothing and I was backpacking around the world and spending a lot of money and kind of going into debt. So then I realized I had to get a job where I'm gonna pay off my debt so that the next time I get laid off, if I do, I'm gonna be set up with savings and not have a bunch of debt payments to make because I was trying to pay all my debt and while I was laid off and it was kind of a disaster. So I actually ended up taking a job as a private consultant here in Alberta. And what I did was I worked up north on pipeline projects doing environmental inspection services. So this was honestly one of my least favorite jobs that I ever had. It was so much work. I was up north working every single day for sometimes three months at a time. So I was working in all weather conditions. I was away from home and pretty much my life was miserable. But I made about $110,000 that year. So I was able to pay off that one year all of my debt because I was able to sacrifice and take that job away from my family up north and just pretty much work my ass off so that I could pay off all this student loan debt. So my kind of debt payment the program that I followed was Dave Ramsey's program. And if you guys don't already know who Dave Ramsey is, he helps people pay off their debt. And the idea between behind that plan is like you kind of go on like an all cash based system. You cut up your credit cards, don't take out any more debt and just work, work, work as much as you can taking whatever job you can get as much money as you can make and just paying it off ASAP. And that's with keeping a $1,000 emergency fund and just throwing all the money that you have towards this debt. So this worked really well for me. I was able to pay off my debt within 10 months, all $50,000, and I was able to get a $10,000 emergency fund. So obviously I recognize I have a huge amount of privilege that I was able to take a job up north and I was able to just throw money at my debt. But you know, I didn't have any kids. I I didn't have a mortgage or anything like that. And while, yeah, it was a huge privilege, it was also so much work. So I was able to sacrifice um, my life pretty much for a year to pay off this student loan debt. So there's always types of jobs like that. If you guys are interested in taking a job like that in places like North Dakota, um, Alberta, and Texas, anywhere in the oil fields, usually has some sort of like environmental inspector type positions that just make a bunch of money and 
I, I honestly can't in good faith recommend that job for anyone just because it was so hard. But if you want to just pay off your debt, it could be a good option for you. Then I switched into my current position that I have now, which was going to be a lot more of a comfortable position. Like I was going to be a wildlife biologist. I was going to only go out for two weeks at a time. So I now took a pay cut actually to get into that position. If you guys want to see what I do on a typical day as a wildlife biologist, I will link to that above kind of a day in my life. What I make now is about $75,000 a year. I think this year was about 75,000 with overtime. And you know, that's still going out a few weeks at a time working 12 hour days. So there's quite a lot of work kind of taken into consideration for that amount of money. But that's on the higher end of what you could expect to make five years out. I have five years of experience because I am in the oil and gas industry and I do a lot of field work. So I would say most people who are kind of starting off first, honestly, three to five years, I would expect to make around 40 to $60,000. So kind of looking beyond the five year mark, you can get a job as a project manager or as working directly with oil and gas companies, which can make into the six figures, honestly. So I'd say the higher end of the salary range for wildlife biologists would be the maybe 70 to $100,000 range with of course the exceptions being well into the six figures. So hopefully that gave you guys a good idea of how much wildlife biologists make, how much you would expect to make in this job and hopefully helps some of you who are deciding whether or not you wanna go into this career field. If you guys wanna watch more videos like this, I just started a new wildlife career series. I will link to that above. That's gonna be the first video in the career series where I talk about step-by-step how to get a job in wildlife biology. I would say my biggest piece of advice is do not become a wildlife biologist for the money. <laughs> you can make a lot more money doing other things, but it is a really fulfilling and enjoyable job for those of you who love the environment, love animals, love being outside, and really want to get involved. Hopefully this helps you guys who are dealing with a lot of student loan debt and unsure about how much money you're actually going to end up making as a biologist. So bye.